guys, it's Matt the Guitar Guy, the crazy Kiwi guitar instructor that's going to basically change your life one chord at a time. I'm going to be showing you some really cool stuff today and it's going to be involving the thumb. Where should you put your thumb? That's a really good question and it's a problem that a lot of students have out there and I'm about to answer that for you in the next coming 37.4 seconds. See you soon. Okay, so a lot of people and a lot of my students, they have this issue. They go like, Mark, I'm, you know, I'm kind of struggling with this chord and that chord. And uh, I went to a guitar teacher and they said, I keep my thumb behind the neck. Another guitar teacher said, no, you should have your thumb on top. I noticed you have your thumb on top and behind. Um, I, I can't do certain chords, yet I can do other chords really easily. Um, so what's the deal? What's the deal with that? And it's a really good question. And there's no particular answer that's a firm answer because it depends on the style you play and what chord you're going to play. So the style I teach or that most people on YouTube are teaching is I would call a contemporary guitar style. We're just using normal guitars, steel, steel string, uh, electric guitars, that sort of thing and we sort of play the same sort of style whereas the only one that's really different is classical and it's really different because we sit the guitar on a different leg, the guitar sits up high like this on a, usually on a stool, so our hands like this, and we're able to play all our chords with our thumb behind the neck, right behind the neck, and then all the chords are based on this very, I'm obviously not playing classical, I'm picking my hand, but, and I'm not a classical guitar player by the way, but that's one of the reasons they play that way. Also that's why they have their hands when they're playing finger style, their wrist can be quite high, and they have this sort of style in this camera, hopefully you can see that, and you've got, and that they can play this low thumb style with the higher arm style. But when we play like we do, we play on the other leg. So the, the guitar sits on the other leg and we kind of play on an angle to the guitar. We're not, it's not completely flat like this. We've, we've guitar is out, like I'm pointing the guitar at this camera here, but my body's actually facing over this direction here. So I'm like facing like on a 45 degree angle. And that causes us to have all different ways of playing the chords and approaching our chord shapes. So. Mm. Where does the thumb go? Well, if we're playing basic chords, when I say basic chords, first position chords. So these are the chords like your G's, your D, your A minor, all your chords that happen down at the end of the neck. Generally, thumb high is going to be best. Now, depending on your, your thumb um, and your hand size, it will depend on exactly where the thumb goes. But in general, thumb on the round the second fret. Now everybody by the way thinks their hands are tiny or too fat. They're either too fat or too small or it's a bit like we all think we're too ugly or too, our nose is too big, our hair is too thin. Whatever it is that we worry about, it's always too something, right? So our hands are too whatever. I don't care what your hands are too. You can be too, too incredibly sexy. If you've got incredibly sexy hands, it's a big issue. What you want to do with those incredibly sexy hands is put the thumb of the incredibly sexy hand you have Chuck it on top of the guitar around the second fret for most chords within the first um, in, within the first position here in the, at the open position. So let's start with a basic chord of D. When your thumb is on top, there's all sorts of benefits to that, and I'm going to show you with this camera right here. That hopefully you're able to see that. My thumb is going to sit right on top here, my, and you can kind of see my nail is it's sort of it's basically balanced there. My thumb is kind of like a hook, and I'm just hanging my hand on there. The benefit to that is I've, there's no tension in my arm. I'm completely relaxed now. My arm is completely like just floppy here underneath and it's just held up by my thumb. And I'm able to relaxingly put on chords wherever I need to and I can get to every chord position from there. I can get to pretty much, except for the F. Now that's another chord altogether. But basically all first position chords, there's a G. Also my thumb's high, there's a D, my thumb's high. Here's a C or a three fingered C even. Doesn't matter what C you're doing. You can do the cheats F, I call it the cheats F, you'll see why later on. And then you've got A minor, e, even E minor, B7. Now B7 I might move down a little bit for. That, there's, there's a different chord there for you, it's like a B7 is a nice third, first position chord you might do if you learn the blues or something like that. My thumb moves down to the first fret there, just to get my hand in a nice position, but generally every other chord my thumb is in the same position on that second, pretty much second fret. Now if you've got a great big hand, you might be able to reach around a bit more, that's fine, doesn't really affect anything too much. Um, if you've got a small hand, you can still get your thumb there, it doesn't matter who you are, you can still get your thumb there to that position, I, I'd imagine, I'm, I'm not I imagine. If you are struggling to get your thumb there for all chords within this position, except for the F, the F is low, drop your thumb chord, 
there's one of these other things you need to look out for, okay? So if your thumb's in position right, I'm not talking about backwards, by the way, guys, it's another thing altogether. Your thumb needs to be low for most backwards so we can get that stretch going on. But if your thumb is high and you're doing, let's say you're doing a D chord, and you're going, oh, I can kind of do a D, but when I go to a G, I find I've got to change my, th my thumb position. My thumb's got to drop down at the back, like here it is at the back here. My thumb's got to go, uh, to get the G, okay? Here it is getting my G. And a lot of people have G that way. Usually the reason that they do that, and I found this very recently with a really cool student of mine called Faisal, and I was like, why are we not getting that G and the D going on? And it was because he had a flat finger for his D chord. So here's his D. And then we had this, I can't even do it now, but this knuckle was not showing, this knuckle right here. So it's the very first knuckle on the third finger. All your knuckles should be showing when doing most chords, okay? Very, very much, you need some sort of angle on the, every single knuckle. Um, so he had a strong angle at the other knuckle, but this knuckle didn't. And so he had a straight finger. And so when he went to do G, you, the th it just pushed his hand away because his hand, we had a, he had a straight knuckle here. It pushed his hand so far, he couldn't get his thumb up here, so he had to go low. But by keeping his thumb here, he was forced to get the knuckle showing on this knuckle, uh, finger here. It might sound crazy what I'm saying right now, but this is actually massive. If you don't have the, all your knuckles showing, you don't develop strength in the fingers, plus you can't get close to the guitar. It's one of the things that pushes you away from the guitar with your straight, your straight hands, your knuckles are like this, as opposed to being bent. So I'm just looking at the camera down here, helping me, helping me out. So one of the things he was doing was, was going from a D minor to a G. Now that's a long reach for those fingers. But if you angle the fingers, thumbs high, see the thumb position? Here's my first, here's my D minor chord. My third finger, the knuckle has to be bent. If it's not, we're in trouble. We can't get that chord. D minor, and see my angle of my fingers? It's not underneath the guitar. I'm angling it sort of in towards my body, and I'm able to get that stretch there. I'm just looking down, making sure I'm giving you lots of, hopefully a good demonstration of this. I'll get a bit closer for you. There's my D minor, thumb is high. It's my hand position here in the back there. In the back, my hand is nice and high. Now I'm gonna to go to a G chord. Now I'm gonna leave that finger here, because D minor, this third finger stays there for the G we're gonna be doing. Little finger's gonna pop down, and I can reach really easily across. Now that's, you might be going, oh, that's so easy for you, Mark, the guitar guy. You've been playing guitar for 79 years, so therefore you're able to do that. So, um, and it's, maybe that's part of it, but that's where you can get to, and you can get to that really quickly. I've seen people absolutely transform with this thing, with the knuckle, um, because it's, it's so crucial to all the chords. And as soon as they fix that, because it, it, they're able to do a whole bunch of other chords. Now what you'll find, by the way, if you're doing this, so your thumb's high, and if you can do all the chords from that position, you're, you're good to go. There's amazing things you can do from there, and you're good to go. So that's the main thing for this style of guitar. If not, just check that third knuckle out, that third knuckle, third finger, first knuckle shape out. That will really solve a lot of issues for you. All your knuckles should be shown when you're playing guitar, doesn't matter what you do. Only, only in the case of a bar where you're trying to bar more fingers across a few strings or you're barring like this bar here where you don't need the knuckles to be showing on that particular finger um, or the other finger here. That's the only time, pretty much every other time, you want your knuckles showing and you want your thumb high. Except bar chords. So hopefully that helps you guys out. I'm just going to give you a little demonstration. I'm going to show some, I'm going to play some stuff. I'm going to keep that thumb in that one position and I'm going to go through a whole bunch of different chords and do some funky stuff just to inspire you guys and give you guys faith that you can do this. Here we go. I have no idea what I'm playing now. Thumb never moved. Thumb never moved. I nailed it. So um, one, some things people do for this actually is quite a hard, hard case. They'll actually tape their thumb down. You know, I've had some guys do that, and they've, you know, if you're that sort of person that loves doing that sort of stuff, go ahead, tape your thumb down. It gets a bit awkward if you're in an emergency and maybe how, the house is burning down. You need to get out of there quick. At least you've got your guitar coming with you because you're attached to it. Um, otherwise, some people do put a little, sometimes put a little bit of tape just on the top part here so they can feel it. A little bit of tape or a little bit of um, a sticky plaster or something so they can feel that and they have to remind themselves, oh, feel for that, okay, I can feel that, I'm pretty good to go now. Hopefully that helps you guys. Um, if you love what I'm doing, you love what I'm teaching here, maybe you should leave a comment down below and 
maybe let me know how you've um, used this technique yourself or if you've got another way of using this technique that might help some other guitar players out there. Um, I love all you guys. If you want a lesson, make sure you hook up a lesson with me during with Facebook and just go to the yeah, go to Facebook, click book now, all that good stuff. Like, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. I can't wait to see you again for another lesson where I'm going to awesomeize that beep out of you guys. See you soon. Thank you.